to another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b thank you so much for watching if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um in today's video you guys i'm going to show you how to create this from start to finish this is a um a layered uh senior graduation shirt um i did use a bunch of different kinds of vinyl okay we got foil the foil iron on not the one with the adhesive but the actual iron on we got um white glitter we got gold glitter we got silver twinkle um and we got the ppd transfer uh paper from amazon okay so i am going to show you how to make this from scratch in leonardo design studio like actual make this hollow everything out everything that you're supposed to do then we're going to go ahead and cut it and then we're going to press it together okay so this is what we are doing today guys definitely go ahead and stick around for that all right, guys, so we are going to start off on Leonardo or in Leonardo Design Studio. This is going to be, and I'm in the pro version, this is going to be the software that I'm using because I am cutting with a Caesar Romeo. Now, everything that I'm doing can be done in Cricut Design Space using the slice feature, as well as a Silhouette Studio using the subtract or subtract all feature. So you do not have to do this in Leonardo Design Studio. You just have to understand that the verbiage I use is for Leonardo Design Studio Pro. And then if you are doing this in another software, you just use the same operation equivalent to that software. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and get a new page. This is what we're going to go ahead and make here. Um, so I'm going to get a new page. Okay. Sorry if I, you know, cough, you guys, I've had the flu a couple weeks ago, like a month ago, and I'm literally still, still have a cough. Um, so I'm going to just start off by typing in the word, all caps, senior. And the font I'm going to be using for this is um, university, which I did get from Creative Fabrica, and I will leave a link for that down below. I'm actually writing it down no now because I always forget to link Creative Fabrica. Okay, I will leave a link for Creative Fabrica in this font down below. It's called University. Here it is. Here. Oops, senior is clearly missing an eye. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and press apply. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. This is gonna, I'm gonna start off kind of in the middle and then work my way out, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is create the outline that's gonna be the gold outline here, okay? So I'm starting here with this silver letter or silver word senior, and then we're gonna create this offset. So with uh, the way that we would do that in Leonardo Design Studio is we're going to make sure the word is selected. And then we're gonna go down here to build contours. We are going to select editable contour cut only. We are going to include the holes. And then I like to make my offset a little bit on the bigger side. I go about 0 0.150. And the corner style for me is going to be round. You can go sharp and it just makes them sharper. It, this is a personal preference. Absolutely. I like mine on the rounded side, so I'm going to go rounded. Okay. And now I'm going to select apply. So now we have our offset. But the issue is if you remove this, it's a whole second layer. When you're layering, if you can get each piece of vinyl to touch the actual fabric, you will get more longevity with your shirt. Now, yes, you can layer some vinyls on top of each other. However, for me, if I can manage it, I'm going to make my file in a way to where each piece of vinyl is actually touching the fabric because I know I'm going to get the longevity that I want out of it. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and press the back button. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to create an inset. And I'm gonna do this because 
I want my word senior and the outline around the word senior to not necessarily touch. And I don't know if you can see it here, so I'll zoom in a little bit. If you look here, the gray layer isn't actually touching the gold layer, okay? Again, that helps to create longevity. That helps when you are layering puff. Um, it's just a preference. Of course, make your file however you want. This is just the way that I do it. So I have to create that inset. So with the blue word senior selected, I'm gonna go back to build contours. We're gonna go to editable contour again. We are going to include the holes. And this time we're going to press the down arrow to about, I like about zero, negative 0 0.067. And I'm gonna change the color to something so we can be able to you know, see it. Um, and then I'm also going to select bring to the front so that when we select apply, the red layer will be in the front. Okay, so now you can clearly see all three layers, the black, the blue, and the red. The black is going to be our gold outline. The blue we're actually gonna get rid of once we um, hollow it out. And then the red we're going to keep. For the time being, I'm gonna select the red layer and move that out of the way. Now to create that space between the red layer and the black layer, we're gonna use the blue layer to stamp out the black layer, okay? And I'll show you what I mean by that right now. We're gonna select both layers, black and blue. We're gonna go down here to our weld panel and we're gonna go to remove front. This is going to remove our blue layer and it's going to subtract whatever the blue layer was touching from our black layer. Now, when we bring our red layer back in, it layers perfectly fine and it's not actually touching the black layer. Okay, so I'm going to turn this gold. And we're gonna turn this gray. Okay. And actually, I needed that word. So actually what I'm gonna do, go back. I don't edit out my mistakes. Um, so I did make a mistake. When I said um, remove front, you can remove front, but I want this word to be layered going up twice and down twice. So actually what I'm gonna do with both of them highlighted, I'm gonna go down to the weld panel and I'm gonna do stamp keep. Now what that's gonna do, it's going to keep the front blue layer while stamping out whatever it's touching from the black layer. Now I'm gonna move this blue layer off to the side and we're going to layer that in. That's actually what I wanted to do. Sorry guys. And I don't edit out my mistakes. <clears throat> um, okay, so now I'm going to turn this gold. And I'm gonna turn this gray so that we can see our design coming you know, together the way that it needs to. So now we have our next word here, senior. This And this is why I wanted to keep this word because I wanted to be able to layer. I'm actually going to add a couple of copies of this because it needs to go down here like that. And then we need one more that needs to go underneath. And we need one more to go on top. Okay, so let's work with these inner two layers here. This one, we're gonna work with this one first, this top layer. So in order to get it, let me show you. In order to get this, if we move this out the way, you can see that I've stamped out those pieces so that, like I said, for me, if you get the vinyl actually touching the fabric, you get more longevity, okay? So to get that, we're basically just going to stamp keep the rest of the layers. So what I wanna do is select this word senior. First thing, I'm gonna turn it a different color. 
Okay, we're going to move this to the back. I'm going to select everything. I wanna make sure that it is um, aligned centered. And now I'm going to select the gray, light gray and the yellow. We're gonna go down here to our weld panel and we're gonna select stamp keep. And now, as you can see, we've cut out the word. Okay, so now we'll put that back. We'll take this next word, senior, bring it down, line it up, but we do want this to be in the back. So we're gonna go to order, send to back. We're gonna leave this word blue. I'm gonna select the blue layer and the light gray layer. Go back down to the weld panel, stamp. Actually, we forgot to align it. We're gonna select all layers and we are going to align center now we're going to select blue and light gray, and we're going to stamp keep. And now the blue layer has pieces cut out. So now everything will be touching the actual fabric. Okay. Next layer here, let's turn this one light gray. We're going to send this to the back. We're going to select all layers, make sure everything is aligned and centered. We're going to select light gray and gold layer, and we are going to stamp keep. And as you can see, the top has been cut out. And for our last layer, same thing, line it up. We are going to send it to the back. We're going to make sure everything is aligned and centered. We're going to select the blue layer and the gray layer, and we are going to stamp keep. Okay, now that's the, that's the background part. <laughs> now we're gonna add in our image. So I'm gonna go up to file. Actually, yeah, I think I deleted that image by accident. So let me go um I think oh no I didn't it's right there on my duh it's right there on my desktop so we're going to go to import and it's right here All right, now this is a um, this is a print and cut image that I got from Canva, Canva and I just uh, removed the background and then I downloaded it with a transparent background so that we don't have to do any cutting up or cleaning here. Um, so I'm gonna select next. I'm gonna select next again. It's gonna go ahead and trace out all of our contours, which is how basically the machine is going to cut out our image on the Romeo cutting machine. It has to trace out where it's going to cut. And this one does have a little bit of higher resolution. You know, she's got her curls here. So it does get a little hairy around, you know, here where there's a lot of small intricate details. But um, I have already cut this. I, this is um, actually the second part of the video that I'm recording. I have already recorded where I made the shirt. Um, and it cut out, it cut out just fine around the hair. There was a couple pieces where there was like some white paper still left, but 99% of it cut out, which is why it's taking so long to trace the contours. It's, it's pretty intricate. So <clears throat> sorry guys, I still have a cough. <laughs> you know, the doctors told me I had, um, the flu, but my husband thinks I had the C word. I don't want to say it in, in the video because I don't know how YouTube feels about it. But I don't know. I still got a little bit of a cough when I um, do a lot of talking. 
All right. So as you see, it did go ahead and cut, you know, made the cut lines. That's what these blue lines are. That, those are the cut lines. Now we're going to go to next. I'm not going to mess with anything. This looks fine to me. And I'm going to select next and finished again. Okay. Now, once I imported this print and cut job, it did turn it, it checked the print and cut job. For now, while, because we're still designing the image, I'm going to uncheck that. Um, when you go to print this image, you are going to have to recheck that again. But for right this second, we're just going to uncheck it so we can finish designing our project. Okay, so what I'm going to do, stretch this out. Now, again, this part here, personal preference, however you want to do it is completely up to you. I like to align the bottom with the bottom of the word senior. So here, the the um, image cuts off here. I'm going to align this bottom part with the, the bottom of the last word senior. So it just kind of lines up together. Okay. So now I like this. I like the size of this. This is cool. I'm, I'm okay with this. Now what I need to do, because I don't want to layer my PPD transfer paper or any transfer paper that I use to, it, it, they're non-layerable when it comes to vinyl. I've tried it, you guys, it looks terrible, especially because in this video I'm using glitter. If I were to layer the PPD paper on top of glitter, you would see all that texture underneath your image and it just doesn't look good. So do not layer PPD. I mean, you can, if you wanna layer glitters, fine. Do not layer the, the transfer paper onto your textured vinyl. It's gonna look really bad, okay? So this is what we're going to do here to make it so that the PPD transfer paper is touching the fabric. We're going to select our image and we're gonna go down here to build contours. And we're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do an editable contour. I'm gonna make mine the same size as before, 0 0.150. If there's any holes, I wanna check, make sure they get included. Now we're gonna go ahead and select apply, okay? So now there's an outline around my image. So I'm going to select my image, move this out the way for now, and then I am going to select every single layer, including the black outline. We're gonna go down to our weld panel and we are going to remove front. That removed that front piece, <clears throat> the outline that was in the front, and everything that it was touching. So now, you bring your image back, and it layers ever so beautifully within your words, and it's not touching anything. So it'll look nice and smooth. Now, you can stop here if you want to. You can add the school name if you want to. You can put congratulations if you want to. Again, all of this is personal preference. For me, I'm gonna do a name. So I'm gonna type in, uh, I'm gonna use my name. And then I think I use my maiden name, which is Powers. And then I used Beerson, which I also got from Creative Fabrica. Beerson Dream a uh, script. Let me capitalize the A. There we go. So this is Beerson Dream Script. Again, I got this from Creative Africa. I will try to leave a link for this font as well. All right. I'm going to turn this purple for right now so we can see it. Okay. So now we have the name. And again, here you can kind of put whatever you want. You can you can put congratulations grad, you can put the school name, you can put the year, you can put, I mean, you can put whatever you want down here, okay? I'm gonna put the name for today. So I'm gonna highlight it, but again, I don't want nothing layered on top of the PPD either. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna re um, remove front again, but we have to create the contour first. So with the name being selected, we're gonna to go to build contours, editable contour, include the holes. I don't think I'm gonna make this one as big. 
I think 7.79 0.079 should be good enough. And we're going to select apply. Now we're going to take our purple layer, move it out the way. And then we're going to select the name, the image, basically everything that the name is touching. And we're going to remove front. And now it removed the outline for the name. So now our name layers just ever so beautifully inside the image. And I am putting this on a navy blue shirt, but um, I can't turn the background navy blue, but I just turned it darker so we can kind of see it. And then these are going to be white. I'm using white glitter for these. I don't know why it won't turn my letters white, but whatever. That's why I had to use light gray. I don't know why Caesar Romeo will not let me use the color white. But this is it, you guys. Okay, so for my blue layers, I am using foil, blue foil, iron on. For these light gray layers, I'm using white um, glitter. This is going to be gold glitter. The name is going to be gold glitter. The inside, this dark gray word is going to be um silver twinkle and then the image is going to be the ppd transfer paper from amazon i will remember try to remember to link everything down below but um now we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna get everything cut out or i got everything cut out we're gonna meet over at my heat press and we're gonna layer and press it together all right so i have all of my pieces cut out here i'm gonna be using a navy blue gildan shirt um, and I'm using my Rekoma 16 by 20 auto open um, heat press. I have my heat press set to 320 degrees. We are going to start with the middle layer and then work our way going outward like this. Um, with that being said, in order to make sure that my layers are layered you know, correctly, I basically start, and this is just to line it up. This is gonna be my top layer. I'm gonna go ahead and line my layers up. That's gonna be the top layer. This is the next one here. Okay. And then this one is going to be the next middle layer. Okay. That looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove these first two layers. And then we're gonna go ahead and press this middle layer here, which is our first one. So it's gonna be 320 degrees for 20 seconds. Now this is a Caesar, the Caesar gold, I think it's the old gold glitter is the name of it. Um, I'll leave a link for all the colors that I'm using in today's video. Um, we have silver twinkle, white glitter, old gold glitter, um, and then the aqua foil or blue foil. And then for the transfer paper, I'm using the PPD transfer paper. And I got that one from Amazon. Okay, next is going to be the inside layer of Senior, which is the Twinkle. And we're gonna press this. 320. I'll probably just do this for 10 seconds because I just want to get it tagged down. Y'all, my bottom drawer keeps sliding open. I don't know if y'all can see it in the camera. Okay, there's our. See, that already looks good. The gold with the silver. Okay. Next is going to be the 
the next two layers here, which is our white layers. So we're going to do that one. And that one. That looks good. Press that for 20 seconds, 320 degrees. Now the reason why I'm not changing the time or temperature for anything is because I'm pressing each layer so many times. The only layer that will only get pressed once is the PPD. So because each press is getting at least two presses minimum, some way more, um, that's why I'm keeping the temperature a little bit, the time and the temperature a little bit on the lower side. I don't want to scorch anything. I know I got some comments asking how do I not scorch. Um, that's how by keeping the time and temperature low because you're doing multiple presses. So you don't need it to be super high. All right, and now we got the foil here. This one I'm gonna do for 10 seconds as well. I can't remember if this foil is a cold feel or not. But I guess we're going to find out. But this is still 320 for 10 seconds. Okay, that is not laying. So let me, that might be a cold peel. I know the other foil that I did was a cold peel for sure. So, let's see if I can cool it off some. All right, I think I got it cooled off enough. Oh my gosh, you guys, that looks so good. This foil looks amazing. Foil is definitely becoming a favorite of mine. Look at that so far. That, that looks good so far. Okay, then we got... Um, so I'm, tr I'm kind of on the fence about how I want to do this next part because I want to make sure that everything lines up properly. I don't have time for misalignment. So let me. Because I, I, I want the PPD to be the last thing I press. But I still have the name that has to be pressed. So let's see here. Okay, no. that I think that'll work out. So I'm going to press the name next. Here. I am going to put some uh, parchment paper. Because I'm scared that foil might scorch. So I'm just going to cover it with some parchment paper. This is going to be 320 for 10 seconds just to get that name tacked down. And then we got our last press, which is going to be the transfer paper. here 
and I'm going to cover it with some butcher paper and I'm going to do 320 for 12 seconds on the PPD paper. It doesn't need a huge press. Um, people ask me how do you wash this inside out cold water um, hang to dry or tumble dry no heat dry oh my goodness that looks so good and I think this might be a cold peel yeah it's a cold peel <clears throat> okay let me cool this off so we can peel this transfer and obviously you guys you can do this with whatever colors you want i'm a southfield blue jay um these were pretty much our colors blue white and um gray my cap and gown was white i think or gray it was either white or gray or blue i don't know i can't remember but um, yeah, I'm a Southfield Blue Jay, and these were our colors. So anytime I make like senior shirts, I always opt for these colors. But you can use whatever color you need, especially if you're selling these. Obviously, just make sure you have the correct um, uh, the correct vinyl for it. But let me go ahead and turn you around so you guys can see. We got the foil on top. This is blue foil. This is just iron on foil. So I know I did a video before where I did the foil with the adhesive. This one is iron on foil. Then we got white glitter. We got gold glitter on the outside, silver twinkle, white, the blue um, foil again, and then the name is in the same gold glitter as this outline, and then the picture is the PPD tr uh, transfer paper. You can do this with Caesar Easy Subly, you can do this with Caesar Easy Color DTV, you can do this with J Opaque um, 2, you can do this with the PPD. You can do this with whatever transfer paper you have on hand that you like. Um, Caesar Easy, Easy Subly would probably also be really, really good. Um, if you have some of that, that would probably pop as well. But there's multiple different products you could use for this image on the inside. If you are doing um, this on a white shirt, you could obviously go polyester and then sublimate this if you wanted to. But if you're trying to get it onto a darker shirt, you're going to have to go with the transfer paper or sublimate onto white glitter, something like that. You're going to have to use some kind of hack, okay? But that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Until next time, bye, guys.